giving all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. I want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of the Great Millstone and say peace, mercy, and blessings to hopeful light. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahushai, which means he is to deliver. And we are the Hebrew Israelites. There's 12 tribes that make up the Hebrew Israelites. Today, we're being so-called blacks, Negroes, African-American, colored, Haitian, Jamaican, West Indian, Native American, Seminole Indian, Latin Hispanic. Okay, but the indigenous people of North, Central, South America, the islands thereof, we actually make up the lost 12, the lost 12 tribes of Israel, all right, uh, lining up with biblical prophecy. The self-proclaimed white man, they are not white, they're red. They're the Edomites, according to the Holy Bible, right? And this is the uh, infamous video of the Jake with dreads, you know, pretty much uh, going public with his, his adulterous affair with his woman at work, you know, and this is a uh, pretty rapid problem uh, throughout America, you know, so I'm sure you, you've seen it enough. So... Uh, I'm not gonna gonna play it again. So, you know, I'm just gonna bring out some uh, precepts because it's, it's very vexing, but it, it's always a, a nigga doing it. You know, pretty much with the rap music, the R&B music, that have made niggas the face of adultery. Okay, and the reason for doing that is because they want to cut us off from being a nation, and they want to uh, trap us in sin because if they can get the nation of Israel stuck in a cycle of, of sin, then our God would be against us, and then they could then come in that rulership. Okay, this book of Judah, chapter 5, and verse 17. And while they sin not before their God, see, the real name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The real name of the Son is Yahweh Shai which means he is the deliverer, okay? And while they sin not before their God, they prosper because the power that hated iniquity was with them. See, our God hates iniquity. And what's iniquity? It's just, you know, the Most High wants us to dig, right? You have to look up definition of words. You know, you got to go into different languages in some cases. The scriptures are written in... Uh, uh, Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Okay. It says, malevolence, wickedness. Okay. Injustice. Okay. For him to be sleeping with this man's uh, woman, then putting in that work, that is the wicked, then that is injustice. But of course, we know according to the scriptures, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of, of a woman. So she's not innocent either. Okay. And even though she's an Edomite, you know, she's a so-called white woman, a Caucasian. That's still not okay. Perfect example is Joseph in Egypt. You know, Joseph was an Israelite down there with those Hamites. What did Joseph do when Pharaoh's wife tried him? He ran away from her. He didn't sleep with her. Okay, because he understood that that was adultery and that would have got him judged by Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay, and then the bitch, she still lied and said he did it anyway and got him locked up. So these women have been evil, man since the beginning of time. Okay, man's downfall has always been a woman. Perfect example of that will be Samson. Okay, Solomon. <laughs> okay, great men have been, you know, uh, made to stumble by a woman. Okay. This is Judith 5 and... Uh, 18, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, which is to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, okay, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, right, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs, and the temple of their God was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken by the enemies. So what happened in 70 AD? A temple was cast to the ground. Our people got put in slavery and scattered. Over a million Jews fled into Africa. Okay, 19, but now are they returned to their power 
and they'll come up from the places where they were scattered. So this had to be after the uh, Babylonian Empire, okay? Because I believe Judah dealing with the Medio Persian Empire, okay? Where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem, where their sanctuary is, and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if it, there be any error against this people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So this adultery, this is the ruin of the Israelites. And a lot of our people are going to get caught up in it because they, they think it's cool to uh, sleep with the next man's girlfriend or his wife or his bitch, whatever the case may be. You know, this is uh, pestilence in this society, but this is going to get a lot of people killed, men and women. Because the Al Bashem Yah Shai counts this as wicked iniquity and he hates iniquity. Okay? So it says, verse 20 Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error against his people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. But if there be a, no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their God before them. And we be a reproach, it says, and we be a reproach for all the world. <clears throat> and when Acre had finished these sayings, all the people standing about the tent murmured, and the chief men of Holofernes, and all that dwelt by the seaside, and Moab spake that he should kill him. So pretty much the other nations understood and they knew that if the Israelites participated in, you know, lived and maintain a lifestyle of sin and, iniqu and iniquity that they could conquer, conquer us. Okay, well, if you fast forward to today and age, this is why you have your uh, your puppet leaders, you know, your 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 rap music, okay, your uh, the porn industry, entertainment industry, all of this stuff is, is promotes adultery, promotes sexual immorality, okay, and it's aimed and targeted at the children of Israel, right? Uh, I out. had my husband think more, you know. And I was going, Yo, look at these. Let me know. But if you check out this guy's page, okay, says he's a actor and a comedian, you know, which whatever, whether it's an actor or it's real, we're still putting that vibration out there. Like people are still feeling the effects you know even when you go to the comments you know karma bro never interfere with a marriage right and pretty much what the scripture says is that whatever man sows that's what he's going to reap so when you sow you know adultery what that does you pretty much is bringing destruction upon your own soul okay This is Proverbs 9 and 17. It says, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. You know, and, and people love to commit adultery. They get a rush out of it. They, they get a thrill. You know, the woman here, when they have a man, that's when they tend to seek out another man. You know, um, hypergamy. You know, women are always looking for a man that's uh, better and... and than, than her man, the man that she's currently with. All right, and this is Sirach 23. And verse 17, it says, All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He would not leave all till he, till he dies. So, yeah, that's these adulterers. They're not going to stop committing adultery until Yahab Rashim Yahushua brings, you know, severe judgment on them. Or either they're just plain put to death and killed 18 a man that breaking uh wetlock which you breaking wetlock is you having sex with another man's wife okay breaking wetlock has nothing to do with sex before marriage because sex consummates a marriage okay saying thus in his heart 
who seeth me. I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The Most High would not remember my sins, and that's how they were in that hotel room. So whether they were acting or not, they still put that vibration out there of adultery on the world, and that the damage is done. You know, 19, such a man only feared the eyes of men, which that goes on daily here. You know, people think this, this shit is cool. When you go to that guy's page on TikTok, this whole, uh, pretty much all his videos are promoting adultery or some type of lewd behavior. Okay? And know not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. So you have Hashem Yahushua knows the hearts of the minds of men. He knows how they think. He knows those that are trying to hide their sins. The Most High knows everything. He sees everything. Right? 20. He knew all things ere ever they were created. So also, after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. 21. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. So, hey, <laughs> guys like that, the Most High is going to make an extreme example out of. Okay? And where he suspected not, he shall be taken. All right. Thus shall it go also with the wife because she's not innocent either. Okay. And you know what she's going to do. She's going to go right home. It's Proverbs 30 and 20. Good news translation. This is how an unfaithful wife acts. She commits adultery, takes a bath and says, but I have not, but I haven't done anything wrong. That's what these women do. You know, they play the victim. They play the, um, you know, they act like they're they're the victim. They gaslight you. Okay, that's what these women do. Proverbs 30, 20, King James Version. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eat it and wipe her mouth and say, I have done no wickedness. That's exactly <laughs> that's exactly what these women do, bro. Okay. They're evil. Okay. About ninety nine percent of these women here in America are wicked, adulterous. All right, demon filled spirits, and they'll destroy your life if you let them get too close to you. Okay, so our apostles push you know, don't be living with no woman, definitely don't date a black woman, <laughs> and deal with a woman on your terms, establish uh, boundaries, stand up, and, you know, be a man, you know. But yeah, your your Habba Shimil is going to bring extreme judgment on that man and that woman just for putting that vibrations out there and it's because of the act actions like this why the Lord's going to bring destruction on these cities okay this is second edges 15 verse 18 because if you watch the video they're very prideful about it and they're lying all right the seat and the vibration they're putting out for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid so that's one of the reasons Yahweh Bashim is going to destroy this place because it's a very powerful, wicked, sinful, and adulterous generation. Right? This is Proverbs chapter 6 and 27. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes and not be burned? And that's what you're doing. That's why the scripture says, sit not at all with, it, with another man's wife. Matter of fact, let's get that. Because that applies. It's the Rock 99. Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thy arms, and spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thy heart incline unto her, and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction. Okay? 
look at that as energy and tea. Don't sit down and eat with another man's wife or join her for a drink. You may give in to the temptation of her charms and be destroyed by your passion. Okay, and this happens every day, and it's, and it's like it's no big deal here. You know, and I, and I just did a quick Google search. Is adultery a crime in the U.S.? Yes, adultery is a crime in most of the U.S., but it's rarely enforced. It's not enforced at all, okay? You never hear about that being, um, people being penalized. Definitely not a woman, okay? It is not enforced here in Babylon the Great, and that's another reason why Yahweh by Shem El Shai is going to destroy this place, man, because it's extremely wicked, extremely vexing, okay? And the hopeful like down here, we're vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, okay? To Second Peter's 2 and 7, and delivered just lot and just meaning righteous. And delivered righteous lot, a lot the righteous man, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. So Lot was extremely bothered or vexed and in the spirit by the manner of conduct of those damn sodomites, adulterers, pedophiles, you know, Sodom, strange flesh. They were doing all type of wickedness there, man. Okay, this is modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. Definition of vex, online etymology dictionary says, uh, toss violently, trouble, annoy. Okay, so it's a mental uh, annoying. <laughs> All right, harass, trouble, vexing. So we're vexed with the manner of conduct of these people. Let's get this in the blue letter. Second Peter 2, verse 7. Definition of conversation is uh, anastrophe. Strong's G391. Anastrophe. Anastrophe. Which means manner of like, conduct, behavior. It's all right. So I ain't going to go back to the video. Whatever. So adulterous behavior vexes the righteous. Okay. Alphabet behavior activity vexes, vexes the righteous. Okay, which is why we're constantly putting up curses on this place, praying for Yahweh Hashem El Shai to destroy it, and praying for our deliverance out of here, man. You know, but yeah, just a quick lesson. You know, I wasn't going to do a video, but the spirit hopped on me to do one anyway. I pray it was edifying. 